When the ear is being treated, it is essential first to ensure that the ear canal is clean. Thus, an ear cleanser should be used to remove exudate before antibacterial or anti-inflammatory drugs are applied. It is essential to ensure that ear cleansers are used properly by owners, who may not understand the need for the ear canal to be filled with the cleanser before the ear is massaged and the dog is allowed to shake its head to remove the cleanser. If required, antibacterial and anti-inflammatory drugs may then be applied after an interval. I normally allow one hour. Commonly, there is a need to continue with ear cleansing after the ear has been treated. This may prevent recurrence of the infection. This preventative treatment may be used up to two or three times per week, depending on need. Shampooing requires considerable commitment from the owner, and a compliant dog, of course. If the owner and dog can work out how to use the shampoo effectively, it can be very helpful in treating and controlling skin disease. Owners need to be reminded that antibacterial shampoos are required to be left on the skin for 10 minutes before rinsing, and some may require the shampoo to be applied twice. The first occasion cleanses the skin, and the second occasion allows the active agent to kill the organisms causing the infection. Shampoos normally need to be used several for several weeks, and typically it will need to be used two or three times per week initially. This will then reduce to perhaps once or twice a week as the skin condition improves. Some shampoos will have built-in moisturizers. If they do not, then it may be necessary to use a moisturizing spray or rinse after shampooing. I prefer to use rinses because they are easier to apply and less likely to make the coat sticky.